And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Accelerator's Hub for another video. Gosh guys, it has been probably like a month and a half since I've sat down and recorded videos. The videos that you guys have been seeing trickling in over the last couple months have uh, pretty much all been recorded in one fell swoop at one time, which is going to be what I'm doing today. I'm going to be recording quite a few video intros so that uh, hopefully I can get some content for you guys coming up over the next couple of weeks, at least a video per week, right? We have to get a video per week. But uh, even though it has been a while, guys, we are coming back with a banger because today, Randy Leahy himself has sent us six more accelerators customs that we're going to be taking a look at today on the channel for you guys. And although Randy's customs are pretty much predominantly the ones that we show off on the channel, I know we've had a couple others mixed in here and there. There have been all sorts of customs craziness coming through in the community recently, guys, from Randy, Acceleron Customs, uh, Overused has been coming up with some cool stuff that you've seen in the subreddit recaps. So probably in a couple weeks, we're probably going to have another video just showing off a bunch of the different custom stuff that we've seen over the years, sort of where we started at and where we are now as a community. Uh, with all the different customizers. It's been pretty unbelievable to see. But uh, for today, guys, we have, I think, six customs from Randy. And a couple of them are ones that we've seen before on the channel, but he has tricked them out with some new additions, some new wheels, you know, new decal layouts. You guys are gonna love them. Let's go ahead and jump right into what he has sent us. All right, guys, so for the first custom of the day, we're going to start off with a bang, guys. You really can't go wrong with any of these six customs. But right off rip, we have a movie accurate synchro with the candy paint check out the shine on this car guys oh my goodness i have never seen a car that gleams this brightly it really does look just like synchro did in the movies how it was like just super glossy and guys just a spoiler four of the customs that we were taking a look at today all have candy paint which from what i understand is a metallic base covered with a transparent paint coat that really makes the sparkle shine and you can definitely see it look at that shine guys this thing is like blinding me and I hate to say it, but once again, guys, on camera, it just does not do it justice. Um, this truly is like a neon gold is the only way I can think to explain it. And as per usual, guys, we have the movie accurate decals. We got some headlights. We've got the crystal blue windshield. We got decals on the back windshield as well. The camera can't even focus on it because of how bright the car is. And then we've got the dragons on the side. Look at that. We got the decals down at the bottom unreal guys this car is a piece of work it's funny i thought customs had kind of hit their premium peak but lo and behold here we are candy paint customs check out this synchro and i know when you're looking at nothing but the custom it probably doesn't look that impressive just like a regular hot wheel but when you put it next to regular ar cars like a ratified and a baseline let's stick the synchro right in the middle guys look at that difference that is crazy it's like a premium in the midst of some crappy plastic cars and I am going to try to save the best for last, guys. So next up, we have a movie accurate CM5 riveted with a 3D printed front bumper. Randy said that this was printed by Overused. I'm sure you guys hear that name a lot in the subreddit recaps. But check that out. That is unbelievable. It looks like it's actually part of the car. That's unreal. I can't believe it's taking this long for us to see a, a 3D printed front bumper, but it absolutely makes this car go the extra mile. And of course, you can't go wrong with that paint job. I know we've seen some kind of orange ones, some kind of bronze ones, but uh, this paint job, guys, that's got to be the most accurate riveted paint job I think I've seen overall with all the customs that we've had on the channel. I mean, just look how mean this bad boy looks. That is unbelievable. I can't believe that front piece adds that much to the riveted, but it definitely does. Decals crisp as always, smooth gloss finish on the car. Got some tail lights. Check it out. I can knock it over that. Shout out to Overused. He's always coming up with some wicked stuff. All right, guys. So for the third custom of the day, we have another candy paint custom. This is a candy paint reverb guys check out the paint job on this car and it does have a new decal layout as well with the orange windshield check out the colors on this car guys we're just gonna have to take a moment here and unfortunately guys i've tried to record this clip like nine different times with a bunch of different lighting and unfortunately it just cannot fully grasp the color of the paint i know it looks sort of like a, a bright blue on camera but in person it's more of like that electric blue that a lot of times you see on the factory sealed set chicanes um it actually absolutely has an incredible color uh, you guys might have to go follow randy on instagram to get like the full effect of it i'm sure he'll post some videos or pictures of it um go follow him at metro metrics because of this one unfortunately while it looks beautiful on camera it does not do it justice at all but even though the camera can't fully grasp the color on the car it's such a bummer because it did so well with the synchro but for some reason the uh 
the gloss or the color of the paint just won't show up 100%. It just looks like a, uh, a standard gloss blue, but it is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at it. So obviously we've got the new decal layout on it looking absolutely sick. And I really do kind of like the orange vibe on the reverb, but she is an absolute work of art, guys. Check out the gloss and the shine. We've got the tail lights absolute beauty we have a candy paint reverb as the third custom of the day and uh, once again guys it's a, like an electric blue i promise and what is colder than a little synchro reverb action all right guys so moving on to the fourth custom of the day another candy paint one we have a candy paint spec tight custom guys just look at the color scheme on this car Look at that shine with the orange decals, unbelievable. And unfortunately this car is suffering from the same exact issue that the reverb had. They actually have like almost the same exact paint color on the cars and uh, it just does not show up right on camera for whatever reason. It's supposed to be like an electric blue, but it, it just comes out looking like a really light gloss blue. But in person guys, these will absolutely knock your socks off. Check out the color on this car. Yeah, I think he definitely nailed the perfect shade of blue for these cars. Uh, I don't think you can make a more premium looking spec site than this. Honestly, just look at those decals, look at the gloss, unreal. So we're gonna do one more look around this candy paint spec tight custom. We got the headlights on the front, clean looking decals on the side, unreal. So the fourth custom of the day, candy paint spec tights. Wish that color scheme would show up for you guys as good as it does in person. But uh, either way, still an absolutely beautiful custom. All right, guys, moving on to the fifth custom of the day. Check out our fleet here that we've got going on. I cannot get over the front bumper on that rivet. It is absolutely sick. But the fifth custom of the day is a candy paint chicane with 3D printed wheels. Check this car out, guys. And I'm not going to lie. If Randy hadn't told me that these were 3D printed wheels, I really don't think that I ever would have noticed. They're a little bit lighter blue than the standard, you know, Teku wheels, but he did a bang up job painting these. I would never have noticed that if he didn't say something to me until maybe I flipped it upside down. But check out the color scheme. And I really do like the light blue. I mean, the deep blue Teku wheels are cool, but the light blue honestly goes much better with a chicane. So we have a candy paint chicane as the fifth custom of the day, guys. And once again, I sound like a broken record, but unfortunately the full depth of the color on the car does not show up on camera. It's so frustrating because I'm looking at it over my phone as I'm recording and it's a deep turquoise blue, but on camera, it just looks like a standard gloss blue. So uh, pretty frustrating, but the cars are absolutely gorgeous. Definitely keep your eyes peeled on his eBay page and his Instagram page and on his Reddit, of course, um, to probably see a more accurate representation of the color scheme on the car, guys. But either way, the car still looks absolutely fantastic. We got the decals, the 3D printed wheels. That is a mean front shot on Chicane. Whew, that car is bad. So we're gonna do one more 360 look on the Chicane with the 3D printed wheels before we jump into our final custom of the day, guys. Absolutely wicked. And the wheels roll perfectly normally, which is even cooler. It's like no drop off in quality from a uh, regular wheels, two 3D printed wheels, which I guess will save a lot of cars from being torn apart for customs. So absolutely wicked. Look at that shot. All right, guys, moving on to the final custom of the day. We have a Teku Dior 2 with new decal layouts and Carlomo ball bearing wheels. Check out the color scheme on this car and check out those wheels. And I'm not gonna lie, the wheels absolutely complement the black bottom on the car magnificently. They really kind of piece the whole Dior 2 together check out this custom guys we've seen a bunch of custom take a dior twos from randy on the channel but i love that each new one that we get has like little details that make it pop just that much more and i'm not gonna lie the wheels on this one definitely are i think like the chef's kiss you know perfection right on top of the decals look at the color scheme on it we got the gloss perfectly smooth to the touch just an absolute work of art and gosh, guys, every time I see a custom Teku Dior 2, it always makes me dream about seeing a Dior 2 in an Accelerator's blister on shelves. Um, that was These were definitely ones that I was looking for as a kid, obviously, Chicane and Spectite. But uh, a Teku Dior 2 and a Teku Slingshot were two that I was 100% searching for. And uh, I just, you know, as a kid, I didn't realize that they weren't in the line. But wouldn't that be sick, guys, for maybe the 20th anniversary to see a Teku Dior 2 in like an acrylic Toy Fair case or 
and a revamped blister, guys. That would be absolutely out of this world. I can't get over those wheels. Those really do piece the whole car together. And it actually makes the car roll really smoothly as well. Some of the other cars, this is a pretty rough table and not all cars roll super smoothly on it, but these Carlomo wheels absolutely make this car glide across the desk. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this batch of customs from Randy. Obviously we have the Movie Accurate Riveted with the 3D printed front bumper. We have the Candy Paint Synchro. We have the Teku Dior 2 with the new decals and the Carlomo ball bearing wheels. We have a candy paint Spectite, a candy paint reverb with new decals, and a candy paint chicane with 3D printed wheels. This is an absolutely elite batch of customs, guys. If I had to choose my favorite, honestly, it would probably be either this riveted with that front bumper or the candy paint chicane. Um, you guys probably won't have the same choice just given that you can't see, you know, the full depth of the color on camera, but uh, it is an absolutely like jaw dropping electric blue. But uh, anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this customer's review. If you enjoyed seeing these cars, be sure to go show Randy some love down in the comments. I'm going to leave a link to his eBay page, his Instagram, his subreddit, all that stuff. Uh, or his, uh, his Reddit profile, if you will, not his subreddit, but he probably should make a subreddit. That'd be pretty cool. So be sure to go save his eBay page. You can be alerted whenever he lists new customs, guys. This batch is absolutely out of this world, and I can't wait for some of you guys to get these cars in hand. Okay, I said I was done, but I had to take one more side shot of these cars, guys. Imagine these cars all lined up, ready to hit a racing realm or just race in Highway 35. Check it out. Whew, they are some sweet rides. And guys, like always, a huge shout out to Randy for sending these customs for us to review on the channel. He is the man. And I know I said this several times throughout the video of the customs reviews, guys, but uh, the candy paint does not show up 100% on camera like it does in real life. As good as you think they look on camera, um, this is the first time there's like a really, really noticeable difference in person. I know you always got a little bit better of a gloss effect in real life, but the whole color scheme is slightly different in real life, I promise. So you'll probably have to, I know you'll probably have to buy them to see, but I'm just saying, uh, definitely do not be surprised if you order these specific candy paint customs and you see them in real life, they are absolutely jaw dropping. But guys, if you enjoyed this customs review, be sure to go down in the comments and let Randy know how much you enjoyed it. Let him know what your favorite custom is from this batch, maybe what you'd like to see next. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button for me, subscribe to the Accelerators Club for more Accelerators related content, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.